Hey, Dad, I'm home. Hey, Ben, I'm in here. I'm in here. <laughs> well, that's what separates us, just one room. <laughs> okay. What do you got there? Is that breakfast? Yeah, I got, uh, the supermarket was closed, so I had to go to, uh... Tell me you didn't go to Larry's. Went to Larry's. Ben, we, we... Well, Dad, if the supermarket's <laughs> closed, I can't... Yeah, but Larry's isn't the place to buy food. Larry's is the place to buy toilet paper or, or, for, or uh... There's not a big selection there, that's the problem, and, you know, everything's dirty. Well, why don't you heat up some of the Gatorade and we'll... I'll join you for breakfast. I heard if you heat it for like ten minutes, it thickens. I'm gonna make an omelet. Do you yeah, want one? I think we're out of eggs, man. Oh, I, I got some. I got... There was oh, three left at Larry's. Uh, then we should be out of eggs because those... You know what I don't like about not... Larry's is that whenever you get a carton of eggs, yeah. some are taken out. People buy eggs individually now. And that is disgusting. Yeah. This it's is... like someone's been in the cart and I want to buy. No, actually, you know, you, you can get all kinds of awful infectious diseases from eggs that have gone bad. I know, I love that. Botulism, salmonella. Yeah. What, do you want them fried or scrambled or...? I would boil them and then boil them again, <laughs> you know, just to be safe. So, Dad, I'll, uh, I'll, cook, it, I'll cook up breakfast and you, uh, you sit back and relax. You're king for a day. Okay. Mm-hmm. Come what on. are you doing over there? Come on, baby. Nothing. Okay. Come on, baby. Come to daddy. Oh, yeah, I get... Yes! Yes! Payday! Dad! <laughs> what, what's going on, Ben? Dad, look at me. I... I'm happy. Wait, what, what are you happy about? I just won. My scratch ticket paid off. 500 bucks. Let it's... me see that. No, you're... Yeah. Sir, pay a lot. Just paid. My, uh, that's amazing. Yeah. I don't even have good fingernails. That's a but lot. But I won. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. This has never happened before. I've always uh, lost. I've never won. What do you mean you've always lost? You've done this before? What? Play, played scratch tickets? Yeah. Yeah, I do it once. When, with whose money do you buy scratch tickets? I've, I saved up from when I was a kid. Ben, is that, are you spending your bar mitzvah money on, on scratch tickets? <laughs> I've got to do something with those Israeli bonds. <laughs> you know, the bonds, unlike yourself, matured 10 years ago. But, Dad, I, I mean, this is, this is great. I'm a winner, you know? Why are you ruining it? No, I, I'm not. I'm, I'm, well, I, you look I can't, upset, really, I can't is... really say I'm proud of you, but I'm happy for you. Well, I finally did something in my life, and then you just sit there like a lump. No, no. I, I'm a big winner over here, and if you can't deal with that, then fine. Well, this is... you know, it's, it's, it's a mixed bag, uh, winning money, scratching a ticket. Why are you doing this? I, I just don't want you to gamble too much, Ben. It's, it's addictive and dangerous, and, and it can ruin your life. Do you know that I'm constantly treating people for gambling addictions? Really? Is that true? Yes. People have won a lot more money than you, and it ruined their lives. I mean, they, they can't stop gambling, and they lose their, their job, their families, their self-respect. Yeah. God, that's awful. But, um... 500 bucks, baby! Read them and sleep! I'll tell you, this makes up for all those wasted afternoons trying to figure out the ponies. Huh? Wait, wait, wait. Did you say ponies? I said ponies. <laughs> I am originally from uh, Indiana, and I know what you're thinking, Indiana Mafia. Actually... But the fact of the matter is, where I grew up, Dr. Katz, there was something very similar to the Mafia, 4-H. You didn't mess with 4-H unless you want to wake up with a cow head in your bed, that or a basket full of apples. That... I love when people lie about where they're from and say, hey, where are you from? Me? I'm from Chicago. Oh, really? Where in Chicago? Uh, outside Chicago. Well, where outside Chicago? Milwaukee. It's amazing how mean you can be to your brothers and sisters, you know. I saw my brother Thanksgiving, he pulled me aside, he goes, Jim, I think I got my girlfriend pregnant. And all I could think was, that bastard's got my shirt on, you know. Take it off! Mom said I could wear it. Take it off! You want to tell me why you left your last therapist? Well, I've had, I had two therapists, and, you know, they were both nice guys, I guess, but I, I had this experience where each one of them <sighs> fell asleep during a therapy session with me. Mm -hmm. So I find uh, the idea of therapy a little bit humiliating. Well, were you going on and on about something? I, I, I'm, okay, you know what? I have to go to the bathroom. Can you hang on just a second? Yeah, I... Hold I on. Hope. Uh, Dreyfus session 418. Uh, she, Julia thought I was making a joke at her expense, and uh, I thought I was trying to let her off the hook. Uh, she was right. Hi, 
I am back. Hi, thanks. I, I mean, yes. I mean, yes, you are back. Okay. Um, Last week we were talking about your 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 older sister. Uh huh. I feel like we were making some headway, and then you just sort of clammed up. Well, I really didn't have anything more to say about it, you know. Yeah. I mean, unless you want to add something. Well, I think she's right. I've, uh, <laughs> no, I'm I'm sorry. I really don't want to. to uh, but just remind me, you have an older sister. And an older brother. And an older brother. So you are, in fact, the middle child. No, I'm the youngest. The youngest of three. You see, I mean, if you don't, I don't, I, I don't even think you're listening to you. I'm sorry. You know what? I, I just stopped concentrating for one second. And well, that's the thing. And the next thing you know, you're going to be yeah. off in dreamland somewhere. No, well, you know, there is something to be said for not being too alert in therapy and just so, sort of allowing your mind to wander. Uh, well, I, I, I don't know flip. what you're talking about. I, <clears throat> Dr. Katz? Hey! Oh, you know what? I was just thinking. I, uh... It's all right. It doesn't matter. Can you hang on a second? I gotta go pee again. Drive for session 418. Things aren't going well. Ten minutes in the bathroom to one minute on the phone. Ten to one ratio. Not good. And... I'm not sure she's really going to the bathroom. You know, you seem uh, particularly agitated today. It's my dry cleaner. Julia, you know, you can't let the dry cleaner dictate the kind of day you're going to have. It's not fair to him. I've lost two of my pants, which is bad because, you know, I don't have very many. I'm pregnant. I, how can you lose a pair of maternity pants? Yeah. Is that a riddle? Really, I mean it. You yeah. know, they're huge. Right. Um, uh, guess what? I have to go to the bathroom. I was gonna, that was going to be my next guess. Uh, can you hold on? You don't have a phone in the bathroom, do you? Uh, I do, but I don't want to talk to you on the phone in the bathroom. Oh, you don't have to tell me when you're going to the bathroom. You know, you could just say you're... you're going to the kitchen. In fact, you, you could do the whole session from the... Hello? Laura! Oh, How are you doing? Good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Ben Katz. Mm -hmm. The new Ben Katz. Yeah. I had a very, very good weekend. Great. That, uh, yeah. Great. I had a very good weekend. Good. Very, very... How was your weekend? It was great. Oh, mine was better. Mine was better. You know what happened this weekend? What? Saturday morning? What? I won money on a scratch ticket. Really? Can you believe that? That's great. Be yeah, I just I played it, and then I won. Wow. It's it was amazing. That's enough to keep you going for a while. Ugh, guess how much I won? $5,000. Um, no. No? Well, not that much. I, it's, oh. that's, that's, that's a lot of money. $2,000. No, 2000 is really a lot of money, too. That's, that's 500 I won Oh. 500 not 5000 <laughs> Oh, that. I just scratched three times. Great. I won five hundred dollars. It's huge. Yeah. It's five thousand is. I don't know why you said that. That's uh, rude. What if? It, what if we try it again and well, we can? I'll say how. Guess how much? And you say like five bucks. And so can we do that? What? Uh, note to myself. I gotta redecorate this office. Put a live fish in the fishbowl. You know, that wasn't good enough. Say one buck. Guess how much I won? A dollar. <laughs> no, five hundred dollars. <laughs> uh -huh. You know what? I'm still not happy. Get, say a penny. Do that one time for me, Laura, and then you can go back to doing your stupid filing. Okay? Guess how much I won on the scratch ticket. Say a penny. Say a penny. You say a penny. A penny. No! Five million pennies. No, it's 500,000. 500,000 pennies. Five hundred dollars! That's what I want. It's a lot more than a penny, baby. Note to myself, appreciate the little things in life. Take the time to smell the flowers. I get some flowers. I'm a very lonely man.
note to myself, how are you? Who's your favorite professional therapist? You are your bad, bad Dr. Katz. Hello? Yeah. You know, I feel like I'm not likable, you know. There's the, there's these old guys in my neighborhood that just stand on the sidewalk and they'll say hi to my girlfriend, but they, they just ignore me. They'll be like, hi, sweetheart. And I'll be like, hey, how are you? They'll be like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why are people, like, in movies, whenever they're thinking, they're always chewing on the end of their glasses, you know, saying, hey, if we give the alien a cold, you know? You know what they're really thinking? This tastes like wax. Dr. Katz's office. Hey, Laura. Hi. How's it going? Fine. Yeah, I thought so. I'm still riding that high. I gotta be honest with you. It's like I remember that last scratch. Like it was yesterday. There was no better feeling than seeing that number nine come up underneath my dirty little fat finger. Do you know what I did when I won? What? Nothing. I was cool. I didn't react. I didn't go, whoa! I'm not an idiot. It's not like the first time great things have happened to me. You know? It's not? Great things happen to me all the time. I'm cool about it. Hmm. I don't need to be all, you know, stupid. You know what I mean? 500 bucks! I'm anti-pita bread. Well, were, you, were your parents anti-pita bread? Well, pita bread has this connotation of, like, being so healthy, you know? You're like, oh, it's in pita, it's okay, you know? You know take a piece of cheese, bad for you. Put it in a piece of pita, it's okay. I don't understand, like, why when I go out to dinner, how, like, bread and butter is suddenly such a delicacy I desire. Bread and butter, stale crackers, ice water. We gotta have this at home. Nom, 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 nom. So I'm thinking I was gonna do something a little more special with the money. Oh, really? Yeah. Like what? Well, I'm thinking about taking, uh... Mm -hmm. Well, I'm taking the closest people in my life, I think, right now. As we speak, the closest people out for a nice dinner. A nice $500 oh. dinner. Wow. Yeah. That's nice. And the closest people in, in my life right now are, are, uh, are my dad, of course. Uh-huh. And you. Me? Yeah, you. As oh, that's fact, so sad. You ever stay in a hotel room? You feel like you can do anything in that room, don't you? Yeah. I always blow my nose in the comforter. You know? They give you two beds. I feel like I should use one of them for something, you know? You know, where, where do you usually stay, Jim? Laura, you, me, my dad, in a five-star restaurant. I mean, what, what more could you ask for? That's fantastic. You're going to love that. Mm. Let me repeat it for you. You, me, my dad, five-star restaurant. I didn't say four. Mm. I said five, all right? Bring right. your AAA card. Just get 10% off. Do you have one? Yeah. Okay, good. Bring it. Do you like, do you like French food? Uh, I, I don't know. You don't know? Do you know what French food is? No. It's like American food, but glazed. Huh. You like the heavy cream sauces, don't you? I guess so. I'm going to get you a side order of cream sauce. I don't even care. If, you know what they said? There's like, they'll say, that's $5, sir. And I'll say, add it on. Bring two. You know what I'm going to do, Laura? What? You're going to get your food, and I'm going to send it right back. Why? Say, take it back. Why? Because I don't like it. I don't like the way it looks. Get another one. Why my food? I don't know, because I'm going to eat mine. Maybe what you need is a vacation, Jim. Well, I don't know. I don't like going on vacation because then you feel like you have to see everything. Yeah. Feel like you have to write everyone a postcard. Yeah. Well, you, you could be like a genius. You try and write a postcard, you look like a moron. This city's got big buildings. I like food. Bye. Well, you don't have to write that postcard. Recently, I got a postcard of the manatee. The mo manatee on there, the sea cow. You ever seen that animal? Yes. Yes, I have. It's called the sea cow. That sounds like an insult to me. It's almost like it was introduced to the ocean. The other animals were like, who are you? And the manatee's like, you can call me the manatee. The other animals were like, yeah, right, sea cow. Call me manatee. Sea cow. Manatee, manatee, please. The manatee kind of looks like a guest on the Ricky Lake show, doesn't it? Ricky, I can't get laid. And then somebody in the audience would offer up the advice. Yeah, I'm going to say something to the sea pig. Uh, that's sea cow. Whatever. You didn't get all that because you're a fat ceiling shit. I don't think I'm anything. Yeah, we, what you got to do is get yourself an education and a job. I live in the ocean. You live in the ocean because you ain't got no job. I don't know what you're talking about. You're fat. You got to get Weight Watchers. I have a layer of blubber to keep me warm in the water. Whatever. Talk to my hand. 
I just think it's so sweet of him. Yeah. You know, it's so rare that he makes a gesture like this. That he makes a gesture. And he's he's talking about a five star restaurant, you know that? Yeah. I went to a four star once, but there was a there was an eclipse, so it seemed more like a two star. Yeah, yeah, okay, Dr. Katz. I went to a I went to a one star restaurant four times in one week. Mm. I have to tell you, Laura, this would be this would really pick up Ben's spirits. Uh, they've been they've been really down for the past eight, twelve years. <laughs> I think what do you want to say to me? I'm not a light, not a light. Oh, hi, Mrs. Donahue. Uh, hi, Joe. And uh, that's, 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 uh, Anyway, so he he wants to use this his winnings to take us to dinner. Great, oh, really? Excellent. Yeah. Uh, well, I'd love wait. a Chateaubriand. <laughs> He's paying. No, but his his version of us is me and um, Laura and him. Oh. So. Oh. I'm sorry if I misled you there. Oh. How about a hamburger? Okay. <laughs> I'm starved. <laughs> God, this is so. Is this great or what? Elegant, this yeah. place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, this is actually a table for four, but yeah. um, I arranged it so that the three of us could sit here. That's yeah. great. That's what you oh, get for putting in a reservation. Yeah. So is this is this nice enough uh, for you? Or, I mean, is this? Laura? It's almost too nice for. It's very nice. Yeah. You it's, gotta keep it down, Laura, because oh. this is a classy joint. It's not some. It's nice to see some you, Burger Laura. pit. And this lighting, you look so beautiful. You forgive me for saying so. I know that's. Uh, did you want to be Thank alone, you. or is it? No, I just. I'm not used to seeing her. In, uh... I'm buying here, so everybody talk to me. Okay. Remember they served you a bowl of wonton soup and there was a human tooth in it? That's right. And the waiter took it back and, and everything was on the house. Yeah. And then we went out the next night and you put a, a dime in your baked potato. Yep. And the waiter brought you another baked potato and kept your dime. Remember that? Uh, yes, I do. What's my point? I'm not going to pull that kind of stuff anymore. That's all. Ow, my tooth. <laughs> you okay? It was a drama an hour drama on weekly television called The Millionaire. The premise of the show was every week, yeah. this uh, very wealthy guy would give a million dollars to another person. Mm. Right. And they'd just follow the effects that that money had on his life. That was the premise. And, and it's so narcissistic. <laughs> yeah. Oh, big word for an expensive restaurant. Whoa. It's just the way you guys talk all day, every day. <laughs> no, this is the longest conversation we've ever had. Am I right, Laura? Mm. <laughs> and it's not going well. Not really. No, I, I thought this would go better, you know, because I'm treating. Where's the wine? Yeah. Can I remind everybody that I'm paying for this baby? Yeah. So uh, I'm starting uh, to sweat. Yeah. yeah. Hey, there's our waiter. Do you want to? Uh, I'm gonna uh, order. Okay. You know, because I don't see why we should waste time. Let's get out of here no. quick. Yeah, you know, Man, I, I mean, to, Laura, if it was up to you, just people would be washing their hands constantly. <laughs> oh, but washing your hands doesn't help. There's still gonna be fecal matter. Yeah, this is a five-star restaurant. I think they clean the fecal matter. <laughs> <laughs> She's right about that. They can't uh, even no. see it. Yeah. It's only trace amounts. Yeah. yeah. What a great date you are, Laura. <laughs> I mean, I love to keep continually talking about fecal matter while I'm eating. What is, is there any way you can fire her right now? <laughs> Laura, look. Look. Woo. <laughs> look at that. Mm. Hey, you two better lay off the wine and eat your dinner. I mean, people, people are starting to stare. Oh, Dr. Katz, why are you such a fuddy-duddy? <laughs> little fuddy-duddy-daddy. <laughs> Loosen uh, up. I am loose. You, know, you, you two don't know that I took my pants off 20 minutes ago. <laughs> what? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm having, I'm having a good time. Don't worry about me. Let me be honest with you for two seconds, Dad. You have always bothered me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we got this out in the open. Come here, you. Yeah. Bow! Bow! <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get dirty in your... Over, actually over here, sir, if you don't mind. I'm taking care of this. Oh, my God. What's that? Well, this is a little over $500. The wine was a little pricey. I had no idea it was going to be $350 a bottle. Yeah. Apparently, the reds are expensive. Okay, I'm just going to move out of here very slowly, okay? Now, just, just act naturally. I'm just going to slip out the door, okay? And I'm going to warm up the car. All right, I'll follow you. Laura, you pretend okay. to choke, and I'll pretend to have a heart attack. Dad, pretend you have diabetes, okay? <laughs> Do you want me to put the rest on my credit card? Well, you know, that's not necessary. Oh, well, yeah, I guess I think, it is. I, 
You know, I, I, uh, you know, I'd like to say to you, I don't mind. You know what? Why don't we just split it now? I mean, because I can't pay for it myself, so I feel uncomfortable. Yeah. And Lord, why don't you kick in three fifty? I, you know, I just don't understand how men communicate with each other. It's, it's, it's the meaning is between the lines. You yeah. Know? Women lay it all out there on the line. Women you know? on the lines, men between the lines. That's right. But, you know, because I have noticed, I have noticed that sometimes, even with me, you guys do some code. Maybe when you get a little uncomfortable. No, just to protect you in a certain way. Also from the... From what? Because you're a more genteel creature than we are. You it's know? true. How do you know that? The way you throw. <laughs> But what are you working on there, Ben? Just uh, taking notes, you know, jotting down some thoughts. Like a journal or a... Uh... I'm working on uh, a book. Are you great? Yeah. That's great, Ben. What kind of book? Well, it's a book about me. Who better? Well, you write what you know, Dad. You don't write yeah. what you don't know. That's what I... That's Otherwise... what I've been telling you is you are the world's leading expert on Ben. You know? With a little help from you. I'm in second place, believe me. But, Ben, don't, don't you think that before you write your memoirs, you should go out and have a couple more of those things that, that are the... Live a little, is what I'm saying. Well, look, know? I've reached that point in my life, Dad, where I have to start, you know, committing things to permanence. Yeah. Or else when I'm gone, who will be able to know what I was like? Well, I can tell him. You... <laughs> when am I going? I packed a bag, Ben. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> i got to change the ending now. Well, I, I, I wrote the first part. Yeah. I, I wrote out my first thought. Mm hmm you want to hear it? Sure, go ahead. No, you don't want to hear it. No, I would like to hear it. All right. In loving memory of my father, Jonathan Katz. Ben, do you, do you know something I don't know? Because, you know, that's usually reserved for yeah. after somebody has... Yeah, I know, Dad, but, you know, this yeah. book is going to take a while to write. And, you know, by the, by the time I'm done... Yeah. You know I'm going to love you. Come here, you. <laughs> Dad, not yet. I said by the time I'm done. Hey, Laura, how's it, how's it going? You remember me, Louie? Yeah. Could you take a seat, please? You know what I've always wanted to do? Change my name to something really awful, like Farty McCrab Lice, and then go and find the cure for a disease, because then they'll have to name a street after me, Farty McCrab Lice Street, and the president will have to say, God bless Farty McCrab Lice. I've been having some financial troubles. I called my bank and checked my balance, mm -hmm. and it turns out I have negative $4,500 in the bank. Mm. But I, I like calling my bank because I can transfer my money over the phone. You know, the lady goes, please enter the amount you'd like to transfer. So I just put in a one and a lot of zeros. Because then you actually get to hear the lady say, your transfer of $10 million has been denied. Because of your negative checking balance of $4,500. Please try again. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Your request for a transfer of 15 cents has been denied. You know what I realized today? I got really depressed because I, yeah. I realized I forgot to start playing saxophone when I was 12 years old. Mm. It just hit me today. Damn, I should have done that because now you know I can't I can't get any work as a sax player right because I don't know how to play because I've never even tried well I uh, it bothers me it bothers me when people complain about flying you know people are like oh the seat was too small and the lady was mean to me when did we become so jaded to the fact that it's a miracle you're flying I think the airlines all they should have to say in their commercial is we can fly but I didn't like this. It would smell weird, and I don't like. Uh, uh, Laura, am, am I late? Well, you're about twenty minutes late. Okay, that's not so bad. You see, I went to eat at the yogurt place, and I hate making left turns. You know, you stick out in traffic. So instead of making one left turn, I made like a lot of right turns. 
Fred, what are you talking about? You don't have a car. I, I didn't mean with a car. Oh, with a car, that would be really bad, really stressful. Wow, this is great. And a second waiting room. This looks much more comfortable. No, Ron, this is not a waiting room. This is this is my office. Wow, they said you had a different approach. This is great. There's no special chair and no, no. sharp poking things. And there's no <laughs> thing, you know, that thing. Uh, wow, I feel very relaxed. This is very nice. I'm very nervous around your, you, the type of doctor that you are. Well, I, I think you're going to get over that in a while, Ron. It just takes a little getting used to. Oh, really? Well, uh, where do we start? Why don't you just tell me a little something about what brought you here today? Well, I've been feeling a little uh, pain on the on the right side. What What do you mean, Ron? What What kind of pain? The last time I came, they pulled these two right here. Yeah. Yeah. What What are you talking about, Ron? When you say they pulled these two, are you talking about teeth? Wow, this is a very interesting approach. Uh, yeah. Well, it is the teeth that were pulled. Yeah. This is great. I mean, I'm starting to feel better already. Well, you don't. Uh, do you think I'm a dentist? Uh, no, I don't. I think that's why this is working so well. Dr. Katz's office. Hi, Laura. It's Ben. Hi, Ben. How you doing? Fine. I know you're going to start asking me, like, hey, Ben, what's, what's going on? Why are you so down? Why are you so depressed? No, I wasn't going but, to. But, uh, I'll tell you why. I, I'm writing now. And, uh, when I write, you know, I dredge up a lot of memories that uh, aren't so pleasant. Mm-hmm. And I'll tell you something, Laura, that's not easy. Hey, Ben, isn't this cutting into your writing time? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm on a writing break. Really? Every writer takes a break. Oh, you know? what time did you say you started? I pull up to the notebook about 11 a.m. It's uh, 11.05. Yeah. Well, I mean, sometimes it doesn't come as easy. I mean, I'm not ad-libbing here. I'm a writer. I need to think first. It just doesn't pop into my head. I need to sit down, fall asleep, and get back up, and then... You know, snack. And then write. I gotta get back. You're obviously in a lot of pain. It's not the tooth. It's, it's something else that's going on. So you're not a dentist anymore? No. No, I've never been a dentist. Oh, I was a good patient. You were very good. You were very good. You made a commitment to the role. But now that's over. And now we're just two guys in my office. I'm Dr. Katz, and you are Ron Lynch. Okay. What else do you know about me? I know a lot about you. I know that you're single. You've been married once. Wow. I don't think that's me. I'm sorry. That's a good role, though. I'd like to play. Can I play that role? No. But uh, I've got to be honest with you. I don't want to give away the middle. Mm hmm But you're in there. Really? Yeah. I mean, I haven't written it yet, but uh, I see you uh, somewhere in the middle. Well, at least it'll be short. And there might be some things you read in the book that you'll be disturbed with. Like that, the part about our long-standing relationship. Oh. The breakup in Paris. Remember that? We lived in, in Paris. Lived in the park, remember? In the Jardin. In the what? We lived in the Jardin de Luxembourg in Paris, remember? Remember I turned to you on the park bench and I said, life is not sweet. We were poor, but we were happy. Hmm. Why'd you leave me? You know, let's let's try and go back, if we could, to your childhood, to some of those early memories. All right. You and your mom and your dad, and you have an older brother. And right. Was his name, I want to say, Alan. No, his name was Alan. And, uh... Ron, I know this is hard to talk about, but would he, would he pick on you? Would he bully you? Yeah, as far as uh, competition goes, we, no. uh... Oh. Uh, just... What I'm, is that? Sorry. Mm. Uh, just... Hello? Uh, what? yeah, I can't... Please sound. Uh huh. Right. Okay. Well, I'll. You I sure? don't know if they have any, but I'll try to get. Ron, you don't. I'm at the doctor's. Uh, yeah. Can you put that thing away, please? No, he's at the. It's a dentist. Can yeah. you just hang up? Look, I gotta go. Okay. Good. Okay. Okay. Bye. What? Why are you pretending that's a real phone? It is a real phone. But the cord is coming out of your pants pocket in the back. This is not a real leg. Can we stop? playing games for a second and try to focus. I'm here to be helped. I'm mm -hmm. here to be helped. I'm here to be helped. Oh, geez. Can you, can, do you need to? Yeah, you just, you just call me. He knows you're not a real person now. 
Right. I know it's a fake phone. Okay, go, I got it. Okay. I might, okay, bye. I'm sorry. You know, th this is your real money that you're going to have to pay me, whether or not you take advantage of, of my help or not, you know? Well... So do you want to sit here and play games, or do you want to talk about what it is that, that's troubling you? A little of each would be good. You want to hear this first sentence? It might blow you away. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Yep. The Russian River raged, ripping a serpentine path through the ragged ridge. I love it. I'm not done yet. Okay. Hi, I'm Ben Katz. Is that a good start? I love the part about the river. The Russian River. Yeah, I, I think that the hi, I'm Ben Katz is too abrupt. You think so? I don't want to talk about the Russian River for 300 pages. Well, actually, what I've done, separate the... The memoirs right now, I've outlined it, mm -hmm. and I've separated it into three parts. Right. The early years. Mm -hmm. uh, the second part would be the camp years. Yeah. Those three years in summer camp, I learned right. a lot. Right. There's a lot you don't know about. Yes, I played softball. Doesn't mean I'm gay. And the third part, I'm calling, the, uh, I'm calling that the pensive years. That's, a, that's the last six years of my life. Mm -hmm. I, I call the pensive years. You know why? Why is that? I don't know. I don't think of them as, as pensive years. They used to be pensive years. Now they're your, they're your ex pensive years. Do you see what I'm saying? Ex pensive. Yeah, I get it. Formerly your pensive years. For me, they were the ex pensive years. I get it and get it. Ex pensive. Laura, um, is everything okay for my appointment? Well, besides the fact that you missed it, yeah. Did you ever think maybe you and Dr. Katz, because I'm late all the time, buy me something funny like a sign that says, even a broken clock is correct two times a day? Do, do, do you and Dr. Katz ever say, let's get something funny for Fred, like a beeper or a funny, like, ribbon to remind him? Did you ever, like, do you, how come you never bought me anything? I don't know, Fred. How about if I gave you the money? I don't know, how Fred. About, how about if I bought it myself, gave it to you? Could you give it to me? I don't know, Fred. Like this. Woohoo! My God, this is great. Yeah, I was in jail because, well, it started because I, uh, I borrowed a friend's car and the horn was broken. Right. And it wasn't that the horn didn't honk. The problem was, was that it would honk whenever. It was a nightmare. I'm just driving around, beep, 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 and I'm honking at everybody for no reason, and you can't even really apologize, because mm -hmm. what is, you know, beep, sorry, I know, beep, beep, I know, it's weird, I don't know. And finally, I decided after a while of this, I'm not going to be a victim, I'm not going to just sit here, and I'm going to at least be part of it, you know? I want to try to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. So, one time I'm sitting at a red light behind this guy, right. and uh, nothing's going on, and out of nowhere, the horn goes, beep, 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 beep. The guy looks back at me, and I go, what are you doing? That's a red light! Let's go! What are you, an idiot? Then I'm just driving down a quiet street. Beep, beep, hey lady, walking! You suck! Dr. Katz's office. I am livid. Hi, Ben. I'll tell you something. What does it take to get a book published in this country? I think you have to write one. Well, yeah, but I'm doing that. Yeah. I just don't want to keep going unless I get some sort of deal. Mm-hmm. You know? Right. This is the way it goes in, in, in publishing, as far as I know. You, you come up with an idea, and you get an advance, you know, like $50,000 or $100,000. Then you continue to write. Makes sense. I just want the advance part. Hmm. I, mean, I can't work under these conditions. I mean, they just squish the artist. Hmm. They push me right into a corner and they say, write. And I say, no, no, thank you. So anyway, I ended up in jail because uh, the police don't like when you honk at them for no reason. Right. I like doing that. I, whenever I see a cop, I like to drive behind policemen and just start following them around the city. And just once in a while, just honk at them and go, beep, 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 beep. And when you look back, you just wave and go, hey, hey, the cops, yeah, woo, beep, beep, yeah, I love the cops, beep, I, woo, piggy. Listen, I gotta get back to the book. Oh, okay. I'm in the middle of a, a extremely emotional part. Really? What, what part is a that? A title. Hmm. There's a word in there, though, that makes me cry every time I write it. 
Anyway, uh, so actually, I, the truth is I was in jail because I was speeding, and uh, I got pulled over, and I don't have a driver's license. Well, Louie. Uh, I never got one. Yeah. Well, I went to the place to get, you know, and there was like a line, and, you know. You need, you need a driver's license. I, I kind of like the fact that every time I get pulled over, even if it's for a broken headlight, I go, I, they have to take me to jail. So I don't have to kiss the guy's ass. I, have to, I get to say anything I want, really, because, I mean, what's he going to take me to extra jail? Right. You know, the guy's like, do you know how fast you're going? I don't know, like a million? I don't, I, hey, you fat pig. Hmm. So I had to go to jail, and uh, I had to be strip searched. I'd never been through that before. So I was staying naked in front of this policeman. Right. And uh, he says, lift. And I was like, lift what? And he says, lift your testicles. And I was like, well, can I use my hands? Or do you just want me to go, rise, testicles! Rise on my command! So you moved away from the idea of that you've given up on the idea of the perfect opening line. Yeah, well, you know what? Because it's really not. I don't think about the opening line. No. Anymore. What do you think it is about? It's about the whole book. Right. So you know what I have now? What's that? Bigger problem. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, first it was just one line. Now it's a whole damn book. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. I'll still give it a try though, because you know what? I love the lifestyle. Oh, the lifestyle is the best. Yeah, it's you, just the writing boss. that sucks. Yeah, well, I realize now it's 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 the title that really counts. You know? Well, I wouldn't say that, Ben. Well, it is, Dad. I mean, let's face it. I mean, you can tell if the book is is going to be good just by looking at the cover. How about you tell me the an idea for a title? I'll rate it on a sliding scale, one to ten. Okay. Okay. Right. Ten being the best. Ten being the best. One being the worst. All righty. Five being right in the middle. Right smack in the middle. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Yep. Are you ready to catch it? Yep. How about this? What did we do to make mommy go so far away? That's a that's a, a two. Okay. Uh, the sound of my father's voice is slowly killing me. I'm going to give that a two also. All right. Um, an introspective retrospective of a prospective genius. That I'm going to give a six, man. Really? Yeah, and pick up the pace because i got to get out of here. Okay, how about this? Thoughts from a bloated boy. Uh, that's a seven. I like it. All right. What's new, Pussycat? Been taken. Uh, Big Ben, American style. That's my favorite so far. I gotta go. You keep, but you keep going because you're definitely I just onto something. Don't think this is gonna work out alone. I like that one, Ben. That's a keeper. Daddy abandoned me. How about that? Doctor Katz, I, ha I have an idea that actually might work. Okay. Um, could you possibly not actually look at me when I'm talking? If you could like face the other way, it might be a little easier. Okay, I can, for me to open up. Uh, if you think that'll help, I'll do that. Okay. Okay. H how is it going on the romantic front? Are you have you met anyone lately? I know you've been. Yes, I have been dating other people now. Why are you talking like that? I I don't want you to know it's me. Okay, I'll refer to you as Mr. X if that helps. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, Mr. X. So, Mr. X, how's it how's it going on the on the dating front? See, I think that's your problem, is you have, you, you have to learn how to love yourself. And I think it'll help if you put that thing down. I'm not, I'm not using the thing. I don't know what... I don't know why you feel like you need to use that device to talk to me and why I can't face you and... Um, why you, 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 you're very controlling that way. I'm not using the device. Fred, this is the third time you've been late this month, and your your bill is way overdue. Uh, Dr. Katz asked me to speak to you, and and I think maybe... Oh, please don't have him mad at me. I, I want to help. Can I hand out flyers? No. 
I, I, yeah, you're right. That's too much paper. Too much paper in the streets. People litter. I won't hand out flyers. How about I'll do some barking? I'll stand out there and I'll do barking. You know what I mean? See, Dr. Katz, he helps. Well, not me so much because I miss a lot of appointments. And when I am in, I get nervous and it's hard to concentrate on what he's saying. But, but he has lots of patients now that do normal things, like have families and work and go out with their buddies and get into shoving matches. See, Dr. Katz, he helps. I don't think that's a good idea, Fred. How about if I just point? That's good. I was in a, on the highway the other day. I was driving, right. and uh, I saw this station wagon, and in the back there were these two kids. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking at them, and he, I don't know why. I just didn't like them. Why didn't you like the kids, Louie? They had that crappy look on their face, just meh. Yeah. I don't know what came over me. Their father was in driving. It was just their dad, and then they're in the back. So I just went, bam, gave him the finger, just like that, whammo felt really good. And then their father looked and I stopped and mm -hmm. then he looked away and I went wham right again. And then their father caught me and he kind of looked at me like like yeah, you know, like like he was thanking me. And I realized that parents must want to do that to their kids all the time. Yeah. I mean all as much as you the, you could love your kids when the your kids go, "Mommy, I said you said I could. You never let They just must want to go, "You know what? How do you like that kid? Right in your face." Right there, you little... You know what the music means, Louis. Yeah, but... I'm sorry. We gotta stop. Thank you.